in this session we are going to discuss word problem related to digits and numbers let's read the question first a two digit number is such that the product of its digits is 14 first condition this is the first condition two digit number has two numbers ones place and tens place simple then if 45 is added to the number the digits interchange their places find the number so first of all let's start with the formation of two digit number so let's say i'm taking two digit number as 12 so this is ones place this is tens place we know very well that ones place is multiplied with one and tens place is multiplied with 10 so 10 into 1 will give you 10 plus 2 that will give you 12 so this is how number is being formed now here it is given that number is two digit so we are going in a proper way then it is given if i take the product if i take the product of these two numbers that is 14 so suppose if i take product here of two digit one multiply by two that will give me two but in this case what is that number 14 so one number is let's say 14 factors if i take that should be around yes seven, one into 14 but 14 is a two digit so we cannot take another is two into seven right or seven into two that will give you 14 so we don't know which is the number 72 or 27 we need to find it we are getting an idea related to it that what our number should be easy right so let's assume that one of the places uh, one of the place as x another will be of the product of it so let's start that uh, if i take one's place as x and tens place as y so can i write y into x is equal to 14 simple right y into x is equal to 14 suppose i want to eliminate the variable y then how shall i do it think i will be shifting this x into denominator so it will become as y is equal to 14 over x so if i take my ones place as x what is my tens place that is 14 over x simple right i have taken first of all ones place into tens place and i have taken product or you can write crossover here as well product so if i take product i should be getting what 14 but we know that we should have only one variable not two variables so in this case i need to substitute something for the y so i have created this substitution which is 14 over x simple so my ones place is x tens place is 14 over x now we need to form the number ones place multiplied by 1 and tens place multiplied by 10 so here i will be multiplying with 10 and here i will be multiplying with 1 and i will be adding them so 114 to 10 that will give you 140 over x plus here x into 1 will be x only simple first condition i have used now let's go for the second condition if 45 is added to the number remember the number means always original number the number means always original number the digits interchange their places means digits will interchange now it is 12 okay ones place 2 tens place 1 interchange so it will become 21 1 will be ones place and 2 will be tens place means this ones place will come over here and tens place will go over there so x here and here 14 over x now let's use the same logic that we use for the first case multiply tens place with 10 and multiply 1 with ones place so if i write in a simple form that is 10x plus 14 over x so if i reverse the digits or if i interchange the digits it will become 
this number which is 10x plus 14 over x 140 over x plus x remember we have done questions like this in the chapter of pair of linear equations the basic idea is going to remain same multiply 10 with 10's place multiply 1 with 1's place but the different over difference over here is we are substituting value of y in terms of x we are not keeping x like we did in the chapter of pair of linear equations let's proceed now if 45 is added to the number so let me take number i told you number means original number always so 45 is added to the original number the digits interchange their places so i will be getting reverse so i can write that original number plus 45 I will be getting reverse number remember that original number plus 45 is equal to reverse number let's start how to do it now let's form the equation so what is my original number original number is 140 over x plus x plus 45 is equal to reverse number it is 10x plus 1 foot or uh, it is 14 over x now what shall we do over here we can see that there is x in denominator we have dealt with this situation remember the cases when variable x in denominator in this case we are going to take lcm there is only x in denominator very simple not like x plus 2 x minus 3 we need to do more steps in that case so here only x is there so what i will be doing first i will be taking lcm in this case what will be the lcm guess it very easy to do right x x is the lcm then i am going to multiply each term one by one with the x so let's multiply x with this one so x multiply by 140 over x plus x into x that will give you x square plus x into 45 that is 45x now i also need to multiply x on the rhs side don't forget that x multiplied by 10 the 10x that will give you 10x square and here x multiplied by 14 over x now see 140 over x and this x will get cancelled this x will also get cancelled so here it is 140 plus x square plus 45x is equal to 10x square plus 14 simple simple now let's shift all this term on the rhs right the reason behind that is because 10 is 10 is a bigger number and if i shift i will be getting negative numbers i don't want to get negative numbers as the coefficient of x square so i'm shifting all these terms on the rhs side so first of all zero because all terms i'm going to shift on that side is equal to 10x square as it is then plus 14 as it is 140 if i shift it will become minus 140 if i shift x square that is x square if i shift 45x that will be minus 45x now let's simplify 10x square minus x square zero as it is here 9x square what is the term with x which is minus 45 x then plus 14 and minus 114 that will give you minus 126 done so this is my quadratic equation now can i do any kind of simplification over here think this is 9x square and minus 45 x minus 126 think 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 can we take something common out can we divide with something so the answer is yes we can divide with something okay so 9 is present in table of 9 very common sense 45 is present in table of 9 but is 126 is present in table of 9 okay 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 6 9 9 yes so this number is also divisible by 9 so let's divide each term with 9 here also 9 here also 9 so do here and here as well so this is going to remain as it is 0 over 9 will be 0 only then 9 9 will get cancelled so only x square 
then 9 ones are 9 fives are so 5x and here 9 ones are and uh, I think you should be getting 4 to 9 ones are then uh, 1 and 14 so minus 14 this is my final equation I'm I'm not going to simplify more than this that's it now the only thing I'm going to do now is get the roots of this equation so there are three ways again factorization if you could then another is a quadratic formula then completing square so there are three ways to find zeros of this quadratic equation let's try it with the factorization because numbers are very small we can factorize let's check it okay so 14 is the numbers factors of 14s we need to start with so factors of 14 that is uh, 1 14s are and 2 7s are it is 2 7s are two factors now see the sign of the constant which is negative i need to subtract so if i subtract 14 minus 1 that is 13 if i subtract 7 minus 2 that will be 5 so see the middle term 5 over here and 5 also here so we can do factorization now we need to think of the signs we need to get product as negative and sum as also negative so minus sign will only come if the bigger number is negative so which is the bigger number 7 let's rewrite it so i am writing minus 7 and 2 as it is and let's add it so i will be getting minus 5 let's do the product 2 multiply by minus 7 that is minus 14 see so what are my two factors x is equal to 2 and my, my factor is 2 and minus 7 so let's do factors are 2 and minus 7 how will i be writing factors how will i be writing factors so i will be writing first term as it is without power so that is only x then what is my first factor 2 what sign will be there plus remember then first term as it is without power that is x second factor minus 7 is equal to 0 now there are two factors and i am going to equate to 1 by 1 0 first of all i will be equating first factor as 0 then i will be equating second factor 0 so let's start with the first factor which is x plus 2 is equal to 0 let's shift over here so it will become x is equal to minus 2 that is my first solution let's get the second one so what is the second factor x minus 7 is equal to 0 let's shift 7 over here so x is equal to 7 that is my second solution now you must be confused at which shall we consider x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 7 come back to the question now what is x x is we need to talk about original number only remember not the reverse because they are asking find the number and i told you whenever the number is written it is always original so what is x x is what one's place in the two digit number so if i if i'm taking two digit number which is 12 and in that case in that case one's place is x either it can be minus 2 or 7 now is it possible that if i take two digit number this place be minus 2 and this place be 1 no this is not possible we cannot take negative value of x so this solution we are going to discard and we are going to consider the value of 7 value of x as 7 so we need to find the number as well so what is the number which is 140 over x plus x so let's substitute 140 over x plus what's it what is that x so 140 what is the value uh, value of x which is 7 and 7 so you'll cancel and you should be getting 20 so 20 plus 7 that is 27 is my number at the start of the question itself i told you that number can be 27 or 72 
the logic behind is there because it is given that product of two number product of two digits is 14 simple so we need to think of the factors of 14 1 14 za okay here and 2 7 za 14 cannot be possible as one digit place because there are two digits already so 2 and 7 were the possible answers so 72 and 27 so 72 is the answer let's repeat this step first of all read the question properly see what are the conditions try to make the tabular format it is easy to understand then follow the second condition which is given into question form your sim sample equation then substitute the values then simplify as much as you can use any of the three method which is possible to get the solution and get your solution then check which of them is applicable which of them is feasible use that solution substitute the values and get your final answer so this is how we solve word problems related to digits and numbers